our generator is designed for battery starts 12 volt each two batteries we have right here which will supply voltage initial voltage to the starting motor right here this 12 volt will come right here to the starting motor this is the starting motor and this is like a engaging gear so this will energize this motor and this has a gear which will go inside and here is the flywheel right there this will start engaging and it will turn the flywheel once the moment comes this energized voltage will draw back and this uh, gear they will come back to their position and therefore the flywheel will take over and once the flywheel takes over minimum firing rpm comes the emergency generator will fire this is a turbocharged cummins engine this one right here is a big type air filter and this is the suction air inside air filter is there this is like a indicator which will show you once your air filter has gone dirty see right here closely this is a green light this is a green indicator which means your filter is still usable it is green means it is still usable it has not been choked by the dirt once it becomes red that means it's time to change your filter it's written also but if you want just want to reset in case if your filter has got dirty like by just by sand because you are visiting some countries where it was a sand storm like uh, middle east so you just have to press this button if you press right here like this press to reset and it turns green back that means your filter is still good this is the turbocharger right here okay so this is like a fan these are the fuel filters if you see this is the main feeder panel one is the emergency generator control panel 440 feeder panel 220 volts feeder panel and this is again volt feeder panel right here and this is the fuel oil tank for the emergency generator which is required by the solas the minimum level at least for the fuel oil to sustain for the oil tanker is 18 hours fuel oil consumption at 100% load and for our ships it is 102.12 liters it is 1200 per liters and we have marked also this is the minimum level this is the minimum level float type switch will give us an alarm in case the level drops to this is the drain and this one right here is the fuel oil outlet valve which is a quick closing type of valve which is operated same remotely connected via wires links going all the way up going up so there is no forced ventilation right here if you just see this is a natural ventilation duct as well as ventilation as well. one right here this is a smoke detector right there and this one so two we have this is how does it is it looks like from the forward if you see so where this yeah so where is the manual hand crank which is once again very important this right here fuel lever so much fuel drop if you close this anti clockwise it will bypass the fuel oil solenoid valve block so once this is done this is the manual hand crank spring this is the right hand right here all you have to do is just put this right hand right here cranking once you start cranking this indicator now which is green if you can see start it once it becomes red it will take around roughly 18 minutes once it becomes red it means your oil has been sufficiently energized before that you need to put this one lever down this right hand will right down right here up so it means your emergency generator is energized all you have to do is put your emergency generator right here from the auto to manual just put it on manual this is normal which means you are using batteries but in case of emergency that is the reason why you are using a hand cranking method so all you have to do is just put this one on emergency mode and then come right back and press this knob down red knob down emergency generator will start so after it is started one more thing that you need to do is ideal or rated rpm so before we just put it on ideal after it becomes stable all the parameters are there speed has been reached in oil pressure pressure temperature pressure pressure put 
it on to a rated and just that's it you have to come back to the feeder panel right here and all you need to do is just press this one where is that yeah this one this one just you press this one automatically it will come on load and your blackout will disappear and suddenly light will come that's it guys in the emergency generator room section if you have any doubts just comment in the section below